Hello and welcome back to the How to Use Famitracker series. This lesson will focus on the expansion chips that are available inside Famitracker. Adding expansion chips into Famitracker greatly extends the number and variety of channels you have at your disposal. This lesson will focus on adding and using the Konami VRC6 expansion chip, but know that four other chips are available and they offer a wide variety of unique features and sounds. Um, in the description below, I've included a link to the Famitracker wiki, um, which goes into great detail on each chip and how it's best used. Be aware that only one expansion chip can be enabled per project, so it's important to know the strengths and weaknesses of each chip and use the one that best fits your project. You can start the process of adding an expansion chip by clicking the Module Properties button on the toolbar. The Module Properties window allows you to create and manage multiple songs in the same project file. However, we're mostly interested in the Expansion Sound drop-down menu near the bottom. Choose Konami VRC6 and then click the OK button to return to your project. Notice that three new channels have appeared to the right of the DPCM channel, Pulse 1, Pulse 2, and Sawtooth. Now, one of the most important things to keep in mind while working with expansion channels is that they have their own unique instrument editor. Instruments for expansion channels are not compatible with the standard instrument channels in Famitracker, so the 2A03 is not compatible with these three channels. If you try to use an expansion instrument inside a core Famitracker channel, the instrument number will display in red, and the same will go in here. So this instrument number is red, meaning that it's, you're using an instrument that's not compatible with the chip. To create an instrument for an expansion channel, all you have to do is have that channel selected and then click the new instrument button. So I can call this um, empty VR, VRC6. You'll also notice that the icon over here is different too, so it's easy to find which um, instrument you want to use for which channel. One of the biggest advantages to having extra channels is that you have access to all these more notes you can play at the same time. Suddenly you can play six notes at the same time rather than just three. Another one of the really, really big advantages to having an expansion channel is that these channels actually have expanded functionality with the instruments themselves. Um, for example, when we go in here and look at the pulse width, we have um, eight options rather than the standard four for the Famitracker's um, duty noise. So it allows you to create not only more sounds um, just in general, but it allows you to create a larger variety of sounds as well. So this is a bit of a shorter video, but all I really wanted to talk about in this one is just how to load the expansion chip and how to create instruments using those chips. Um, I'll leave it on to you to kind of explore the other four chips and see how they all work. I did include a link to the Famitracker wiki in the video description below, so you are able to get kind of a, a toehold and, and get going and figure out how to use all those ch different channels. So, as always, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me through the comments below or my Twitter handle above. Um, if you found this video interesting, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to this channel because I'm planning on creating a lot more of this stuff in the future. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.